Yo, what's good with it? Slump Music here. It's been a minute since I've been on here and uh, showing you guys my template and what I've been working on. Today, I'm just going to show you real quick what I have been working on. And what I've been working on was using my Kai Force with Logic. So, I'm just going to show you guys how I got it set up real fast so you guys can um, maybe try it out. I'll make more of a detailed video of how to exactly set it up. Um, but right now I'm just going to show you guys it does work. Um, so as you see right here on my MPC, on my first track I got an MPC. Right here. Sounds good. On my second track right here, I have my complete control. Right there. Got some kicks. drums and now on um, when you when you select any track on this Akai network MIDI is now it's gonna control the force so and it doesn't matter whatever track that I pick right here it's gonna go in there so I don't know let me see if I have anything on this track so I have nothing on that track right there. I, I end up recording something in there just to show you that it does work. Um, let me see if I can do it real fast. And I was recording this right here into the arranger. So I have the arranger right there lit up, ready to go. Got this instrument that's on the fours. Um, you see it's picking up right here in Logic right there. So it is, it's picking up the MIDI and everything. Um, I just, I don't know, clapping it so there's something in there. So I'm just going to record that in there just to show you. And then when I hit, well, let me make sure I got nothing on there. When I hit, um, when I actually hit play, it's going to start, um, Logic should start playing. So, and when I bring this here back to zero on the fours, logic will go back to zero. So I'm gonna hit play. Turn it up a little bit. So you see that right there, moving in logic. Got my fours going. Recording to the arranger. Well, I think I, I, I selected to, to record into the clip, but um, let me try it again right here. I'm going to hold, hold record and then hit to arranger. Make sure that my, my track is, is, is selected right here. I need to bring it back to the beginning. So I'm going to do it over again, hold record, record to arranger, and then now I'm going to, I'm just going to hit record. So as you see, um, I hit play, stop, record, everything works right there. I'm, I'm using my uh, complete control to control everything. I can hit up on the directional pad right here. It's gonna take me up to my complete control. Hit up again, and it's gonna take me to my MPC or whatever sounds I got in there or whatever other plugins that you got in there. You'll be to go. You'll be able to record still into Logic. Just whenever you select the Akai Network MIDI channel, then it will select any channel that you have lined up inside the force like i was i'm on a kaya network midi you won't see anything here on there but you can record the midi notes in there as well but um whatever track that you pick whatever you pick on the force is what it's gonna it's gonna trigger and it's also gonna be on beat with logic but this is just a quick snippet of how I'm working it. Um, I'll make more of a, a, a detailed video of how exactly how it works. And um, I hope you guys can try it out and enjoy it. 
But in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe. I'm Slump Music. I'm out. Peace.